Sex is magic! <laughs> Have we got your attention? That's what every filmmaker in Cannes hopes to do, pique your interest while promoting their product. And if they're lucky, they'll have a lot of fun while they're at it. Champagne, this is to celebrate. Conquering Cam. Hello. Our movie is all about sex without being, it's not pornographic, it's not gratuitous. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's actually a celebration of sex, um, more than anything. Yeah, love too, but actually this film's more about sex. I just want to know what he's doing here. Well, actually, Lucinda, if it hasn't escaped your attention, it is the Eve of Beltane, the sacred night of love, and the first horn has to choose a mate for the celebration. Choose a mate? How? Who? Whoever can cast the most powerful spell. The team behind the independent feature, Lucinda's Spell, worked their magic day and night. Twofold. Are you ready? Drop it. By spreading word of their movie, they are also spreading word of a new film festival called Can You Dig It? Cannes Film Festival needed a blood transfusion. We bring the truth. Yeah. Yeah, there's it, room for everybody. <laughs> there's room for everybody. You know, even and that's what we've actually tried to create here. The Fledgling yeah. Festival takes place in Cannes alongside the world's biggest film festival. Its goal is to provide a forum for independent features that have less chance of being seen otherwise. It stems for me way back um, four years ago. Uh, I produced this movie called Cannibal the Musical that's uh, written, directed, and starring Trey Parker of South Park. And um, we applied uh, to, to Sundance and we didn't even get a rejection letter and we felt, you know, we'd paid $50 to at least get rejected. Four years later, Can You Dig It was born, the alternative to another film festival that has grown too big to address all of the independent films out there. And what began as a two-film endeavor rapidly grew into more. We had to reject people from our from our brand new festival. We had so many people calling and stuff. We just all of a sudden we were rejecting films. The twenty shorts and nine features made the cut. Here we are in the suite in Cannes. I mean, we don't have it. This is an independent film. I mean, we've we've this has taken two years just to raise the money for this, and we've people have been working for next to nothing. And so, you know, I took. Basically, we were just about to finish the film, do the answer print and everything else, which is very expensive. It's like, you know, $50,000 worth of work. And I had the money in the bank. And so I just thought, F it, I'll go and spend it at camp. When I was going through the customs, I was like, there's Christopher Walken, and I'm here. And I'm here. <laughs> and they were asking for her autograph and not his. Yeah, they were. <laughs> and as one of the most colorful groups in Cannes, from top to bottom, the Lucinda Spell Gang has been generating heat ever since. Wait, should we pin these so that they show the front and the back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I can keep pulling them the down front? like I have been. The front or just the back? No, I'll just keep pulling it down. You know, on the street. They don't really stay there. That way it just doesn't... I am not walking around like you this. You are. We walked in. We were expecting the first day to just be really mellow. And the minute all the postcards and everything started going out, it has not stopped. Four o'clock in the morning and people are still wanting to take pictures. It doesn't stop. He wants to pay me, Yana. <laughs> is that what you do? Yeah? No, no, darling. I only think. This is what it's like in Ken, an entire f parade. The energy just smacks you. I mean, it's just like the most incredible energy around the group that we're in of excitement mm -hmm. and everything new coming in. And it's hard. It's like a drug. It's hard to come down from. It's fun. It's enjoyable. You don't want to sleep. Sleep gets in the way here. This is what happens when we come yeah. to Cannes and we come out our movies and it's sex on the beach, sex is magic, sex on the Riviera. This is where the fun really is. Can you dig it? Yes, we can! Can you dig this? The anti can Film Festival we told you about earlier wasn't going to let this beautiful day go to waste. Can you come down a little bit, Yana? There we go. Yep. Beautiful. <laughs> We've got a little bit of a camera shadow there. The cast of Lucinda's Spell posed with festival co-founder Lloyd Kaufman and the entire Troma team. And Lloyd dispensed some of his wisdom to the masses. This is a safety first speech. You should listen to safety, uh, safety first with Lloyd Kaufman. Safety first. Uh, safety to the people's property and then make a good film. So you're saying I can't get liquored and hang on the railing? Mm, I don't think it's a good idea. No, it's against company <laughs> policy. That's trauma mentality. Yeah, I've got it going. But, uh, That's where I'll be if I get liquored. Yeah. <laughs>
Over the edge. No lives were lost during this shoot. But perhaps some questions about sanity are in order. <laughs> Just another bit of promotion from the Chroma team, and it was business as usual. Take 36, folks. Just a little. OK, we're almost there. We're getting there. Uh, oh. Hey, uh, okay. that's my spine. Ready, and action. <laughs> Troma. Party for five minutes. Anybody who comes up gets invited. There's no rest for the wicked in Cannes. After a long day of promotion on the Quasette, it's time to party all night. You get up early, you work all day, you're like, I'm tired, there's no way I'm going out. Um, you get home, somebody says, oh, we got to go here, and next thing you know, you're back out. And... While parties like this one for the Can You Dig It Film Festival look like a lot of fun, they, too, are a form of promotion, a way to bring awareness, in this case, of a new festival, to the world. Cheers! Can you dig it? So what do you think about party? Isn't it great? Yeah. Independence in Cannes. And it's packed. We couldn't even get in. They're just being modest, because in addition to the drinking and the dancing, the evening highlighted the festival's first awards. It's definitely uh, more than my honor to award the golden, the first annual Golden Warrior Award to John Jacobs, director of... <laughs> Lucinda's spell may have walked away with the Can You Dig It version of the Palm Door, but it was our friend Lloyd Kaufman who was honored for 25 years of indie filmmaking. I'd like to uh, present our huge, huge, huge bottle of booze, uh, which represents a lifetime of achievement to superstar Lloyd Kaufman. 